Sprout Social is an all-in-one social media management platform which you can use to publish your social media posts, drive engagement, take advantage of their analytics tool and also get some insights into how your content is performing and make necessary changes to your social media strategy. In today's video, I'm going to give you like a crash course or I would say like a mini tutorial on how to navigate this platform. In terms of pricing, you can check out the pricing plans over here, but we're going to try their free package. So I'm going to click try for free and I'll click try 30 days for free and you gotta enter your information and create an account the best thing is no credit card is required once you create an account we're gonna connect it to our existing social media profiles so i'm gonna click a linkedin page over here and i'm gonna log into my linkedin account and i'm gonna click allow over here so essentially you can click the pages that you want your sprout social to be connected so i'm gonna connect it to the woo video page that i have and i will click connect and as you can see, our LinkedIn company pages have been successfully connected. Similarly, you can link it to your Twitter profile, your Instagram profile, Facebook page, TikTok profile as well, and have everything in this one interface and control how you want to manage your social media content. Um, next, you're going to enter some of the information about where you work, your organization size, if you are an agency and things like that. And this is our dashboard, which is where you can get a snapshot view of all the content that you want to publish, you have published or it is in the queue. You can take a look at your to do list as well. So I'm going to go to the publishing section. So essentially, you can see all the content that is scheduled for the month of november for a certain week and things like that so let's say i want to schedule a content on this saturday so i will go over here click schedule content and i can write my caption and over here i'm gonna put in my caption like that and then i'm gonna click upload media and I can upload an image and video from my computer or you can click design on Canva and Sprout Social is going to direct you to the Canva platform, which is uh, essentially what I use to design my graphics. So I took this template and this is just for demonstration purpose. So I'm not going to make a lot of changes, but I'm going to click export to Sprout. And as you can see, our image is attached over here. You can add another image over here if you like. And similarly, on this section, you can see what your content would look like once it goes live. Also, you can click the icon over here and you can get a suggestion from their AI assistant if you want to spice up the caption a bit and you can click create three post options from the text. And over here, you're going to see a bunch of captions that has been generated. So you can go through it and select the one you like. So that's a very handy tool as well. You also have the audience targeting option if you want to target a specific audience on LinkedIn and go through that but I'm not going to cover that in this video because uh, over here we want to keep it very high level. You also have the audience targeting option which you can definitely explore and over here we have the publishing workflows. So for the approval workflows you have an opportunity to create your custom workflow depends on how it works in your organization or you can select a template that has been already provided. So I'm going to click legal approval, for example, and I'm going to be directed to a page where I can create that system itself. So this one's called legal approval. So we can enter the steps over here. So step one, you can type the approver over here. So that is me. You can add another step over here and add another approver from your team and go about it. And you can save this workflow. And then I'm going to go over here and select the legal approval workflow that I've created in this system based on how it works in your organization. And over here, you can also add labels and tags. So that way you can categorize your content. So this is for internal organization purpose. So let's say I'll put this as an announcement. So I know that anything related to announcement I can have access to it in one section when I'm, you know, doing my analytics. And over here, you can schedule the content on a specific day and time. So you can go over here, you can either schedule it immediately or you can auto schedule it or you can select a specific date and time when you want this post to go live. You also have the optimal times tool over here so essentially sprout social is going to recommend you some of the times when your post is more likely to perform better so you can select that as well. And over here, you can submit this for approval and I'm going to click submit button like that. And over here, we can see our content in the calendar. So next, you're going to go to the needs approval section. All the content that needs approval from a specific team member can access it. So I can take a look over here. I can just make sure everything is OK. And if it's approved and good to go, I can click this button. 
And now, as you can see, the post has been removed from this section because it is fully approved. So I can go to the calendar section. And now this post changes to the white color, meaning it's all good to go and all set to be live. You also have the Sprout queue section, which is where you can add all the posts in the queue and Sprout Social is gonna send them live whenever your audience is more engaged. On the draft section, you're gonna see all the content that has been saved, which will be published later. So you can access them over here. On the rejected section, you're gonna see all the content that has been rejected. You also have campaign section, where you can manage all your social media campaigns in one place. So let's say I want to run a mini social media campaign for this quarter. So I'm going to click create a campaign. I'm going to give it a name. So I'll call this as Q4 campaign. I'll select a date range. So I want it to run from 4th of December to 8th of December. You can select the visibility. So all the people who have access to this campaign and you can also write a campaign brief over here. So once you have that information, you're going to click save. And now I'm going to go to my calendar section. Now this content, I'm going to edit it actually. And I'm going to add it to the Q4 campaign. So it's going to be a part of that. So I'll click schedule. And over here under the active campaign section, you can see the upcoming post, which is going to be a part of my Q4 campaign. And over here, you can get access to campaign performance. I'm going to go more detail into how this works in future videos, but this is just like a rough overview of how the campaign section works on Sprout Social. You also have a Sprout link in the bio section, which is what you can use if you want to drive traffic from Instagram to your content using one link. So then we have the report section over here, which is where you can analyze how your content has been performing and optimize it. So we have a strategy and inside report competitive analysis content performance and a lot of other extensive stuff but we also have some recommended reports option so i want to take a look at my post performance just to like see how the content has been doing so i can click go to report and over here you can see all the content uh, during a specific time frame so let's say i want to uh, take a look at the content over the last 28 days so i'll select that and over here you can see that we have published three content and this is their performance and if i want to start a team conversation where we are talking about this piece of content you know that hey this has been doing like really well or not doing well at all how can we navigate around it so we can do that we can like tag our team members and leave a comment you can also share this report with your team members so you can click share over here you can download the pdf version of it and and then distribute it among your social media team and talk through the strategy and the next steps on how to optimize your content and this is the pdf report of our content that you can access it. We also have competitor performance section over here, which is a great way to see how the competitor in your industry have been doing, uh, how many times they have been you know, publishing a certain piece of content and things like that. For competitor source, I'm gonna go over here and you can search for a certain company. So for instance, I wanna take a look at how Starbucks has been doing on Facebook. So I'm going to click over here and you can see their audience growth, publishing behavior. You can see their top performing post as well. So that's a great insight uh, to see the kind of content they have been doing. Really useful information. Now I'm going to go under profiles by network. And since we are dealing with our LinkedIn page, so I'll select that. And over here, I can see the performance summary. I'm just going to go over here, make sure last 28 days is selected. And essentially, I can see the impressions I had, the engagement, engagement rate, post clicks, and the top post so far over here. So I really like the visual. The visuals are really nice and like easy to understand. Now we're gonna go to the listening tool. So this is a great way to see what your audience is interested in. What are they talking about? What is the new topic in the market that you can leverage when you are creating content for your channel? You can also click new topic and you can customize it. So for example, let's say we work in UGC video. So I'm gonna name that. I'm gonna enter a little description. You can select your sources. You can select your page over here. You can also include keywords. So I'll add UGC video over here. You're sharing user generated content, social media content. That looks good. You can also exclude certain keywords you don't want to include. You can add themes and there are a lot of other settings you can take a look at. So I'll click preview topic. 
So over here you're gonna see all the content where video sharing or UGC video is mentioned so you can see what's happening in the market and how you can leverage it when you're creating social media content for your channel. So a really handy tool, um, it's a great way to leverage it so definitely worth checking out. All right, so this is my high level overview of how you can use Sprout Social um, to get started to manage your social media content. Please let me know if you would like to see a more detailed and insight into a specific feature because I'd love to create a video like that. And yeah, thank you so much. I shall see you guys in my next one. Till then, take care. Bye now.